This video has been brought to you by Wailuku Maui's 808 owned. You can find them on Facebook to order all of your island shirts and clothing apparel. This is Kenneth Yates with MMAAbsolute.com and we're joined via Skype with one of today's top up-and-coming UFC heavyweight fighters, James Tahuni, from his home in Sydney, Australia. James, first of all, thanks for talking with us today. Uh, we understand how busy you can be training for your upcoming fight. Um, speaking about that fight, how has your training been coming along for your fight against Aaron Rosa? Yeah, very good. Um, the preparation has been uh, really good. We've, we started just before Christmas. Um, we've got no injuries. We've been on track. Um, got really good sparring partners for this fight, and uh, yeah, everything's going going really good. A couple of weeks, a couple of weeks ago, so feeling good at the moment. Um, when the time comes, I'm going to be feeling hungry, which is most important. And um, yeah, can't wait for the fight. Now, what do you know about uh, Mr. Rosa, and what makes him such a dangerous opponent? Uh, Aaron Rosa, he's he's a he's a real big guy. He's a fighter. Um, I did fight at heavyweight. He was a, he was a he was overweight in the heavyweight um, in the heavyweight division, and um, he's cut back down. Um, he likes to stand and bang. Um, he's a he's a pretty good kickboxer. He looks like a strong guy, a real big guy. Um, yeah, no, it's gonna it's gonna be a good fight, you know. Um, I like to throw my punches, and I'll be working on a lot of my uh, kickboxing here. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to be able to showcase it a bit in this next fight. No, no. Speaking about you know his stand and bang, um, you yourself like to stand and bang. Can we expect to see this as a more of a stand up fight? Yeah, man. Well, I'm chasing that um that, that knockout of the night bonus. You know, I, I was chasing it for the for their last fight, but, but I didn't get it. So I'm trying to get it this one. Um, yeah, I'm after that bonus, man. I'll try and put on a good fight and and either either way, man, fight fight of the night or care of the night. Now, this will be the uh, UFC's second time holding an event in Australia. Um, did you ask to be put on this fight card, or did it just work out that way? Um, it just worked out. It just worked out the way. Uh, I was coming off injury. Had a had a ligament reattached to my thumb from the last fight. Um, so, just it, I think it just worked out that way. You know, uh, I started getting uh, fit and healthy again, and um, yeah, they put me on Australian card. So, yeah. Now, how excited are you to be fighting on such a publicized card? I mean, it, it's going to be live, free on FX, and not to mention you're going to be fighting so close to home and possibly in front of your family and friends. How excited are you? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just excited to get another fight in there. Eh? Uh, I, I, it doesn't really worry me where it is. Um, actually, I like fighting outside the country because of uh, being having less pressure and um, I like being an underdog and I like being somewhere that that not many people know where, who I am and, you know, um, it's, it's a lot easier for me to train and, and to deal with certain things. So, yeah, it, it doesn't really, really bother me where I'm, where I'm fine at the moment, yeah. Now, today in the UFC, we have a few Polynesian fighters like Mark Hunt, BJ Penn, Brad Tavares, and they're actively fighting. But you're the first person with a Maori descent to make it into the UFC. Have you ever thought about that accomplishment? And if so, how does that make you feel? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud as, um, yeah, uh, it makes me feel uh, really good. Um, there wasn't many people that uh, that I idolised when growing up, you know. Um, uh, yeah, there, actually, there were a lot of Polynesians that I idolised, uh, David Tour, um, a few others, and um, yeah, I'm pretty proud to be the, the first Māori in the UFC, and um, yeah, I just want to try and uh, get as far as I can and and uh, and help out other uh, sorry, help out other Polynesian uh, athletes to reach their goal. Yeah. Now, what advice could you give someone that's thinking about making mixed martial arts their career, um, possibly the younger generation? Uh, is there any uh, advice you could give to them? Uh, listen to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just keep a keep a good relationship with everyone. Your coaches, your you know, your family, mum and dad, your, your brothers, um, your training partners, because they're going to be the people that are going to help you get to you get as far as you can. So have a really good relationship with everyone. Yeah. 
Well, thank you for your time. Um, in closing, is there anything you'd like to say to anyone that might be watching this, your family, sponsors, or anybody? Yep. Uh, shout out to my major sponsor, uh, PC Group. Um, they've helped me out with um, a lot of, they've been helping me out for probably a year and a half. Um, yeah, big help to me. Uh, Bruce Mobile, um, Phil's Fitness and Bodybuilding. It's a supplement shop here in Penrith. Um, he's been, he's had my back for years. Um, uh, Pertic Athletic All Stars. They help me out with my strength and conditioning. And uh, Elite Fight Gym, Eagle MMA, um, Border Rock Gym, the McKinnon Brothers, and Stephen Stewart. Um, there's some other, oh man, my. <laughs> 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 oh, Lincoln, Lincoln's my boxing coach, uh, and the boys out there, and um, yeah, and design drivers. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. Well, that's thank you. Well, thank you again for your time, and uh, best of luck uh, with your fight against Aaron Rosa. Cool. Thanks, man.